Chapter 17, Salvation Dueling is Magic A Rip in Time Chapter 17, Salvation How? said Yusei, stunned. Why is it still there? Don't all malefic monsters need malefic world to stay on the field? That they do, Yusei, said Paradox. However, so long as there are malefic monsters in my graveyard and there is no field spell in play, malefic singularity dragon treats the field itself as malefic world. Yusei and the others looked around. The air around them was still the hazy, purple space of malefic world. This is bad, said Twilight. Yusei, do you have any field spells in your deck? No, I don't, said Yusei. Don't give up, Yusei. Rainbow Dash called. Every monster has a weakness. You just have to find it. Dash is right, Yusei thought. But what's this thing's weakness? I can't destroy it with card effects, and it's unaffected by spells because of malefic force. The only way to destroy it is by battle, but Paradox can save it with its effect. The battle is still on, you say? said Paradox. My Malefic Parasite card has forced you to activate the effect of Gathering Wishes for the last time. Without shooting Star Dragon to power it up, Stardust Dragon is no match for me. Stardust Dragon Attack, 2500 Malefic Singularity Dragon Attack, 5000 Life Point Count Paradox, 1200 You say, 200 Malefic Singularity Dragon Attack. Ordered Paradox. I play the trap Synchro Barrier. Said Yusei. By releasing a Synchro Monster I control, I take no damage for the rest of the turn. Stardust Dragon vanished in a flash of light. Glowing white particles formed a barrier around Yusei as Singularity Dragon launched its attack. It struck the barrier but didn't make it through. I end my turn, said Paradox. But you won't be so lucky next time. My turn, said Yusei as he drew a card. All I can do for now is hang on. I set one card face down and end my turn. Pathetic, Paradox snorted, drawing a card. I attack your life points directly with Dark Singularity Stream. I play the trap Iron Resolve, said Yusei. By paying half my life points, I take no battle damage for the rest of the turn. Good show, Yusei, said Rarity. Hang in there and you can do this. The twisting streams of dark energy struck a barrier that had formed around Yusei. Life point count. Yusei, 100. I will still end you, you say, said Paradox. I activate Malefic Singularity Dragon's final effect. At the end of the battle phase, if Singularity Dragon attacked, it inflicts 1600 points of damage to you. Oh no, said Twilight. You say. Final Singularity, shouted Paradox. The dragon beneath him shrieked repeatedly, almost as if it were laughing. A white light flashed in the vortex of its body. A pale beam shot out of the vortex, heading straight for Yusei. From my hand, I activate the effect of Synchron Keeper, said Yusei. A hideous, fat, green monster appeared. It opened its huge, bulbous mouth and swallowed the incoming beam. By removing this card in my hand and a tuner in my graveyard from play, I can negate any damage I would take from one card effect. After that, I can special summon a synchro monster from my extra deck whose level is the sum of the two monsters I removed, 
and that summon is treated as a synchro summon. Spike, look! said Twilight to the younger dragon. You say's okay. Spike had covered his eyes with his hands. He looked up. All right, he said. Go, you say. The tuner monster I'm removing is Quick Draw Sync Ron, said Yusei. Since it and Sync Ron Keeper are both level 5, that means I can summon a level 10 synchro. Give a warm welcome back to Shooting Star Dragon. The green creature vanished into one of the nearby portals. The portal began to sparkle, then suddenly erupted with light as Shooting Star Dragon blasted out. Shooting Star Dragon Defense, 2500. Level 10. Shooting Star Dragon, said Fluttershy. Your move, you say, grunted Paradox. My turn, said you say. He looked at the cards he had in his hand. Okay, you say, think. Malefic Singularity Dragon can't be destroyed by card effects, so I'll have to take it on by battle. But Paradox can just remove a Malefic Monster from his graveyard to save it from being destroyed. And as if I didn't have enough to deal with, there are still five Malefic Monsters left in his graveyard. Wait a minute. That's it. That's how I'll beat it. I set one card face down and end my turn, said Yusei. My turn, said Paradox. I attack Shooting Star Dragon with Dark Singularity Stream. Shooting Star Dragon's effects are negated, said Discord, so Yusei can't use its effect to stop the attack. And if this attack connects... Yusei will take damage from Malefic Singularity Dragon's effect and lose, added Celestia. This is the end for you, Yusei Fudo. Laughed Paradox. Not yet, it's not. Yusei replied. The convulsing beams of energy struck Shooting Star Dragon and destroyed it. I activate a trap, Miracles Wake. This special summons one of my monsters that was destroyed by battle this turn. Shooting Star Dragon re-emerged on the field, roaring as it did. It doesn't matter, you say. Said Paradox. Singularity Dragon's effect activates. I play the trap return marker. When an opposing monster's effect activates that would destroy a card or inflict damage, the effect is negated and you take damage equal to that monster's attack points. Quick play spell, Malefic Revenge slash. When I take battle damage or when a card that inflicts damage is activated, that damage is negated and your life points are cut in half. Singularity Dragon roared and slashed its wing at Yusei, throwing him downward. He slowed down and eventually stopped. Life point count. Paradox, 1200. You say, 50. You say. Cried Fluttershy. She dove after him and pulled him back up. I'm fine, Shy, said You say. Your time is running out, You say, Paradox laughed. And turn. I draw, said You say. You're gonna have a hard time attacking now, Paradox. Since Shooting Star Dragon left the field, its effects are no longer negated by Sync Ron Keeper. I set three cards and end my turn. Three face-down cards appeared on Yusei's field. He looked back at Fluttershy and gave her a smile. Don't worry, Shy. I'll keep my promise. And pray tell. What promise is that? asked Paradox. Yusei looked up at his foe. I promised her that I'd save you, he answered. When I first dueled you, I didn't have that chance. Now, though, I do. Ha! 
you still hold on to foolish hopes that can never be fulfilled. I will not die, but you will not save me. I do not need saving. It is our world, our species that needs saving. If humanity is not cut off from the tools of our self-destruction, then it is inevitable that our race will disappear. And you'd sacrifice an entire universe for that. Yusei said angrily. Yes I would. Paradox shouted. The dragon he had merged with roared loudly. A strange force, like wind, pushed against Yusei and the others. Yusei turned to his right and saw that the singularity was pulsing. The time has come, said two voices. One belonged to Paradox, the other belonged to Night Shroud. We will guide humanity to eternal peace, to immortality, and to ultimate unity. Not if I have anything to say about it, said Yusei. We are not so easily destroyed, Yusei. But you. You will die here with your equine friends. No one's gonna die today, Paradox. A black aura appeared around Paradox. He clutched his head and screamed. Paradox! said Yusei. He sounded worried. Take your turn, Paradox, came Night Shroud's voice. End this duel. I will end it. On my own. Shouted Paradox. This is my duel. This is between me and Yusei. If you want him, fight him yourself, but you will remember your end of our bargain and leave Yusei to me in this fight. Paradox looked down at Yusei. You will die here, Yusei. You should have died in Domino Square when you first battled with me. My friends and I beat you, Paradox, Yusei replied. And you should have lost, Paradox said. And I'll tell you why, you were able to use Stardust Dragon's Victim Sanctuary effect because I did not destroy it. You couldn't have destroyed it, said Yusei. Could you? I could. Had I focused my attacks on Stardust Dragon in the final turn, you would surely have lost. But I got carried away and focused more on dealing damage. No. No way, said Yusei. This is the final turn, Yusei Fudo. My turn. Paradox Drew I equip Malefic Singularity Dragon with Malefic Twin Shot, allowing it to attack twice each turn. Shooting Star Dragon will only be able to block one attack, and I currently have a hundred times more attack points than you do life points. You say? Cried Twilight I can't watch, said Philly Pinky. Cerberus whimpered. I attack with Dark Singularity Stream. The Black Dragon opened its jaws and spat out a twisting, convulsing beam of energy. Another beam fired from the Dark Vortex on its front. The two spun around each other, twisting and arcing like lightning bolts. I activate Shooting Star Dragon's effect said Yusei. I remove it from the game until the end phase, and I can negate one attack. You can only stop one attack, remember? Paradox laughed. My attack continues. This is the end for you and Equestria. Yusei! shouted every pony behind him. As the spiraling arcs raced toward him, Yusei smiled. Even you haven't given up hope, Paradox, he said. You still hope for a better future for mankind. And you're strong, there's no doubt about that. You're strong enough to resist even Night Shroud's influence. There is no hope when the possibility of destruction exists, said Paradox. You're wrong, Paradox. The possibility of destruction is why hope exists. Look at yourself. Look at me. Look at these ponies behind me. Look at the dragons, at Cerberus, 
at Discord. All of them are faced with destruction, but they're still hoping that it can be stopped. Just like you. I. Paradox, hope is what drives us. Hope is what makes us stronger. I still have hope for our future. It was you that destroyed it. Maybe I am responsible for what happened, but that won't stop me from trying to fix it. Neo Domino City, my colleagues, and most importantly, my friends believe in me. Because of them, I believe in the human race and its ability to change the future. Then show me your hope, you say. Show me your ability to change the future. With pleasure. I play the trap zero force. When a monster I control is removed from play, this card reduces the attack points of your monsters to zero. What? A giant number zero appeared in front of you say. The twisting beams of energy passed through the center, but they had turned ghostly and hollow, almost as though they were nothing more than colorful wind. I still have Singularity Dragon's effect. Final Singularity. Roared Paradox. Your future ends here, you say Fudo. I play another trap, Panic Wave. Said you say. I destroy one card I control, and for the rest of the turn, the effects of face-up continuous spells and traps and face-up effect monsters are negated. What? Paradox said. Gathering Wishes has one last purpose to fulfill. This is the power of our bonds, Paradox. I destroy Gathering Wishes. Gathering Wishes exploded, sending out multicolored shockwaves. As they hit Malefic Singularity Dragon, Paradox screamed in anger. Impossible. How could you have blocked all of my attacks again? How? He yelled. I did it by hoping, Paradox, said Yusei. Throughout the duel, I hoped that my cards would answer me, and they did. I hoped that they would give me what I needed not only to save Equestria and my home, but you as well. But? Why? Why me? Because, Paradox, said Yusei. I made a promise. But it's more than that. Shooting Star Dragon reappeared on the dual field, roaring loudly as it did. I hope to save you, Paradox, Yusei continued, because I have a bond with you too. We. Don't listen to him, Paradox. Shouted Night Shroud. Paradox screamed once more as Night Shroud's dark aura appeared around him. This is my duel. He roared. If I attacked a second time with Malefic Twin Shot, it's destroyed. But when it's destroyed by an effect, I can draw one card. I equip myself with Malefic Resilience. While a Malefic Monster is equipped with this card, I take no damage from its battles. I end my turn, but know this. Should the duel progress to the next turn, you will undoubtedly lose. Instead of drawing a card on my next turn, I can add Malefic Twin Shot from my graveyard to my hand if I control Malefic World and exactly one Malefic Monster. No matter how many times you muster your defenses, I will keep attacking until they fall. Then this is my last turn, said Yusei. My turn. Draw. You say. We believe in you. Shouted Rainbow Dash. You go get M, partner. Called Applejack. Don't give in. Said Rarity. You can do it, you say. Cheered Pinky. You say, if you stop Paradox, we have a chance of stopping all of this, said Twilight. You have to win. I know you'll win. You say, said Fluttershy quietly. I activate Shooting Star Dragon's effect. You say said. 
Once per turn, I can check the top 5 cards of my deck. This turn, Shooting Star Dragon gets one attack for each tuner monster in those cards. Yusei took a card from the top of his deck. The first card is a tuner monster, Effect Valor. Discord. The elements. Said Twilight. Discord nodded and pulled the elements of harmony out of the back in his lion paw. He threw them up and snapped his fingers, causing each one to disappear and reappear on their bearers. The second card is another tuner, Drill Sync Ron. Go for it, you say, shouted the young Spike. The larger one roared. The third card is also a tuner. Said Yusei. Debris Dragon. Three attacks. Growled Night Shroud. I still have two cards to check. The next card is one more tuner, Road Sync Ron. Impossible. Gasped Paradox. And the last card, said Yusei. I don't believe it. They're all tuners. The last card is Hypersync Ron. Yusei has five attacks. Said Rainbow Dash. That is so cool. Go, Yusei. Cheered every pony behind him. Shooting Star Dragon, attack Malefic Singularity Dragon with Stardust Mirage. Yusei ordered. Shooting Star Dragon. Attack. 3300 Malefic Singularity Dragon Attack, 0 Shooting Star Dragon rocketed straight up until it was little more than a twinkling light in the distance. The light flashed and split, becoming five separate lights. Five different Shooting Star Dragons plummeted toward Paradox, each one slamming into the dragon he had merged with. You will not defeat me that easily, said Paradox. Malefic Singularity Dragon can survive being destroyed by removing a malefic monster from the graveyard. I know, said Yusei. W what? Paradox stammered. More dragons slammed into the dark beast. The last one struck and flew back to Yusei's side. Malefic Singularity Dragon needs Malefic World in order to survive, and treats the field as Malefic World while there are Malefic Monsters in your graveyard, said Yusei. But you had exactly five left, and I just forced you to remove them all. No. No. Shouted Paradox. This is impossible. Your experiment was wrong, Paradox. Shouted Yusei. The gigantic black dragon exploded, shrieking horribly as it died. Paradox screamed as he was separated from the creature's head by the blasts. The shades of purple and the stars and nebulas disappeared from the space around everyone. The smoke from the explosion faded. Paradox and his D-wheel were all that remained. Impossible, he said. That's just not possible. It is possible, Paradox, said Yusei. I believed it was possible. That's how I defeated Night Shroud before, that's how I saved Neo Domino City from Z1, and that's how I'm going to save you. Save. Gah. Paradox grabbed his throat as a black aura appeared around him. You have disappointed me, Paradox, said Night Shroud. Let him go, Night Shroud! shouted Yusei. He failed to defeat you, Yusei Fudo, Night Shroud replied. He is mine to do with as I please. Not if we have anything to say about it! shouted Twilight. Her eyes were glowing the purest white. She and the other bearers of harmony hovered above their friends, the gems they wore illuminating the darkness. I play the trap, explosive breakout, said Yusei. 
When I battle a level 8 or higher monster and it's destroyed, I can lower Shooting Star Dragon's attack points by 800 and let it attack one more time. Shooting Star Dragon Attack, 2500 Fluttershy, I promised I wouldn't let Paradox die. Said you say. Everybody lives, Fluttershy. Just this once, everybody lives. Go, Shooting Star Dragon. A light formed above Twilight and the others. A rainbow shot out of the light, and each color split from the others and formed a vortex around Shooting Star Dragon, coming together in a point in front of the dragon as it flew forward. Rainbow trails formed from its two wings that twisted in the air as Shooting Star Dragon spun to match the vortex around it. You'll let him go, Night Shroud, said Yusei. Together again, Yusei and the Bearers of Harmony named the attack, Stardust Rainbow. The dragon turned ghostly and passed through Paradox. The shadows enveloping him were caught in the spectrum of light surrounding the dragon as it blasted through. Night Shroud roared as it was pulled away from his host. Mark my words, Yusei Fudo. We will meet one last time. And I will have my revenge. Roared the creature. Revenge is something you'll never have, said Yusei. Life Point Count Paradox, 0. You say, 50. Paradox drifted away slowly. Twilight used her magic to bring him close to them. Paradox, said You say. Are you okay? Paradox opened his eyes. Why? He said. Why did you do that? Why did you save me? I believe that anyone I duel becomes a friend, said Yusei. Dueling is a clashing of souls. It brings out exactly who each duelist is. In that moment, duelists see each other completely. In that moment, they become friends. Yusei held a hand out to Paradox. I tried to kill you, he said. I tried to kill all of you. Maybe you can help us fix this, said Yusei, his hand still outstretched. Paradox took it. Even if we could fix the damage I caused here, said Paradox, our world is still doomed. Then when we get back, we'll work to stop it, said Yusei. But without destruction. Paradox nodded. It would take me a long time to fix this, said Paradox. I created a lot of paradoxes and rifts. Leave that to us, said one of the Lunas. It was the one from the future. Her sister spoke up as well. Paradox, you visited three eras in equestrian history, said the Elder Celestia. So it will take power from the three eras to fix what you have done. What power could do that? asked Paradox. The elements of harmony, of course, said Celestia. My older self is correct, said the present Celestia. I remember this well. I do, said the pink mane Celestia. You will, the oldest one said with a smile. You brought the elements of harmony. Correct. Luna has them. Luna. The tiny alicorn revealed a small saddle bag on her back. Her sister used magic to open it and brought out six gemstones. A flash of light appeared above the eldest Celestia and Luna as the elements appeared above them as well. Twilight, Sully, said the eldest Luna. You must use the elements at the same time as us, understand? Focus their energies on the singularity. Three sets of gems lit up. Three rainbows pressed forward into the singularity. It flashed with energy, pulsing faster and faster. 
Something's wrong! shouted Twilight. Keep going! said the elder Luna. Twilight's right! said Sully. This isn't working. It is, Sully! said the Celestia from the future. Just hang on! The pulse of the light grew faster and faster. For a brief moment, it stopped. Then it suddenly exploded, sending out a massive shockwave that pushed against everyone, expanding in all directions. All but three portals disappeared. These will take us back to our individual eras, said Celestia. Sully, you, Luna, Star Swirl and the Chancellor should take that one. My sister and I, as well as our friend Spike, will take the one over there. Everyone else, the remaining portal is yours. You must hurry, for these portals will close very soon. Chancellor Pudding Head looked at Pinkie Pie. I'm glad I met you, Pinkie, she said. You and your friends saved my life. I'll be honest, I thought you were. Well. Annoying, at first. Yeah, that happens sometimes, said Pinkie Pie sheepishly. Maybe tone down the excitedness a bit, said the Chancellor. I'll remember you, Pinkie Pie. You are a good friend. Thanks, Pudding Head, I mean, Chancellor. You can call me Pudding Head, the Chancellor said with a chuckle. Or Pudding for short. Star Swirl was speaking with Twilight. You are an incredible spellcaster, Twilight Sparkle, he said. I've not seen such potential in a mare since I came across Clover. I can see why the element of magic chose you. Thank you, Star Swirl, said Twilight. Spike, you take care of this young mare, said the bearded unicorn. I will said Spike. You know, said the older Spike, I'm going to miss all of you. It was good to see you all again. I'm just sad we couldn't spend more time together. Ah, it'll be okay, Spike, said Applejack. Maybe we'll see each other again someday. Oh, that reminds me. Spike. The younger Spike looked up. Wow, you're, I'm, you're big, said the little dragon. You will be too, said future Spike. Listen, I have to tell you something before I go. In a hundred years, you'll see Applejack again. She'll ask you about the future, but you cannot tell her anything, except that I told you not to. A hundred years, said Spike. I don't think I can remember something for that long. You will, Spike. We dragons have very long memories, especially strongly magical dragons like us. Spike. Called future Celestia. We have to go. The portal is going to close soon. Just a second. He replied. He turned to Twilight. Twilight. Out of every pony I've lost, I miss you the most. You were my parent, my sister, and my friend. Spike, I... Thank you, said Twilight. The present Luna was looking thoughtfully at her past self. I know what you're thinking, said her future self. But you mustn't do it. Those events must come to pass. And in time you will appreciate what happened. Can the past not be changed? Luna asked herself. You saw the damage that was wrought from Paradox's actions and even Yusei's carelessness. The timeline of our dimension is not the same as the one from Yusei's own. Paradoxes cannot happen here, or they will rip our dimension asunder. I understand, said Luna. She flew over to her past self. Dear little one, do not worry for the future. 
you shall become myself in a thousand years, strong, confident and wise. Until this day, remember this, your sister will always do what is best for you. Um. Guys. Said the Philly Pinkie Pie. How am I gonna get home? Pinkie Pie's element of laughter began to glow and a small, pink portal appeared in front of the filly. Oh. Okay then. She said. Oh, Minnie me. Said Pinkie. Before you go, let me tell you something. She whispered something in in the filly's ear, gave her a big smile, and waved her through the portal. We should get going too, said Twilight. Her horn began to glow and violet light appeared around everyone from her era, as well as Yusei. Twilight, wait, said Yusei. We can't leave without Paradox. You're right, Yusei, said Twilight. The purple light appeared around Paradox and his D-wheel and he joined the others. Thank you said Paradox. I don't deserve this, but thank you. I'm doing this for you say, said Twilight nonchalantly. Twilight, don't do it for me, said you say. Do it for him. All right, said Twilight. I'm sorry. To be continued. Next time on Dueling is Magic. A rip in time. Equestria has been saved, and the temporal labyrinth has been repaired. As Yusei and the others return to their era in time, Yusei thinks upon the events that transpired. Paradox, anyone can be redeemed. Will Yusei's words prove true? And what of what Paradox told Yusei about the future? and Night Shroud's last words. Yusei will have a lot to think about before he returns home. Chapter 18 Redemption End of Chapter